MAJOR ANNOUNCEMENT IS EXPECTED WEDNESDAY TO OFFICIALLY WELCOME A PRO SOCCER TEAM TO LOUISVILLE. BUT TONIGHT, THAT DEAL COULD BE IN JEOPARDY. WLKY'S TIM Elliott JOINS US NOW LIVE FROM SLUGGER FIELD WITH MORE. TIM? Well, Rick, under this agreement, the Louisville Bats would share Slugger Field here with this un incoming soccer team, but scheduling conflicts could pooch the entire deal. Officials here with, in the front office at Slugger Field say they want to make sure that baseball is the top priority. The Louisville Bats have called Slugger Field home for almost 15 years, but come next spring, a pro soccer team could be moving in. We don't have a soccer stadium, so the next best thing is this facility at the moment. BATS PRESIDENT GARY OLMER SAYS FOR THIS DEAL TO WORK, THE TURF NEEDS AT LEAST A DAY TO RECOVER BETWEEN BASEBALL GAMES AND SOCCER MATCHES. WE'VE INSTALLED NEW WARM WEATHER GRASS, WHICH OUGHT TO BE VERY HARDY IN THE HOT SUMMER MONTHS. SO WE FEEL LIKE IT'S, uh, it's GOING TO WORK, BUT IT'S A BIT OF A CHANCE. And, um, you know, really, until we do it, we'll, uh, we'll not know for sure. However, that stipulation could kick soccer to the curb. It knocks out a third of the USL soccer clubs' uh, potential weekend dates, which has a significant impact on the amount of revenue the club thinks they can expect to earn. Less soccer games on weekends means less attendance and less profit. The Bats also want to keep a majority of the money made from concession sales, and that has investors worried. It's a touch of the dramatic that we were hoping we didn't have, we, we wouldn't encounter this close to what we hope would be the end game. I just think uh, soccer is uh, it's a big sport. It's, uh, it's huge. It plays uh, everywhere in the world. Hernan Iribarin is a BATS player who hails from Venezuela. He would love to see soccer set up shop at Slugger. It's nice if it's going to be nice for the city and uh, the fans, you know, the little kids here, they start playing more soccer and uh, it'll, be, it'll be nice for, for the community. Turning a baseball field into a soccer field is not an easy task, especially when it comes to the pitcher's mound. But there is a plan in place to make sure that pitcher's mound is removable. Logistics are fairly complicated. There will have to be a retractable mound on jacks or hydraulic system of some kind that will go up and down. Artificial turf would have to be placed all throughout the dirt infield. Despite this latest roadblock, supporters still feel that this deal will survive. I still am confident and optimistic that, that things are still going to work out and we'll be here having a much better, a much different conversation on Wednesday. Now, the goal for soccer supporters here in Louisville is to eventually get their own soccer specific stadium. And the city has agreed to help them in that process. But first, this business model here at Slugger Field has to be profitable for the next couple of years. Fill these seats here at Slugger Field for those soccer games, and eventually a new soccer specific stadium could be coming to Louisville. The official announcement on this new soccer team is expected to come Wednesday afternoon. Reporting live from Slugger Field, Tim Elliott, WLKY News.